In this video, I want to show how to open a do file in Stata and then to use that file to run some basic code um, to import some data. Okay, so um, if you're new to using Stata, um, this window right here, this is where all your results will come in. Uh, this is the main window that you need to be looking at. You also have a command line window. Generally, I just make that small because you should not be typing in code or commands in the command line window um, because once you press enter, basically uh, you, you'd have to type it again to, to do it again versus when you write it in a do file, you can run it again and again however many times you want um, you know, just by running what you've saved. Okay, so it's generally better to not write your commands here, but rather to write them in the file. So how do I open a do file? Um, you see this little icon right here on the top left. You press that new do file editor. Okay, so this is this is you know a file, a text file that you can save and run your code again and again. So we'll go ahead and save this file, save as. Okay, and I'm saving it under my um, my folder, uh, my Stata folder. I'm gonna name this one example, it's my first example in Stata. Okay, and I'm gonna press save, and it's a .do file. All right, so whenever you open a do file, the first thing you should always um, write is a little asterisk, let's write clear um, memory. And then uh, write clear all, okay? So I always clear my memory uh, as my first step in um, writing a do file. So that way when you run it again and again, um, when you start, you'll clear everything that you've done before. Okay, so it's just a general good practice to clear your memory. Uh, you notice I wrote this little asterisk and then I wrote my code. So this green is just a comment for me to read, for you to read, but the computer doesn't read it. Okay, and generally you should comment everything that you do in um, Stata. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import um, Stata data file and this is a .dta file. Okay. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to write my codes. It's it the um, the code or the keyword for it is use. And you can see Stata tries to help me figure out what keyword I'm looking for or what piece of code I'm looking for. Um, once you start typing, it tries to guess. So that's kind of nice. So I'm going to do some quotes. Okay. And then what I need to do is I need to give it the address. All right, for where my my data is. So if I go to the folder here, um, I have it saved under my desktop in a folder called Stata. Uh, I need these, this address, um, so I'm gonna right click and press copy address, all right? Or I could just double or right or click, uh, left click and then I can see the address there and then I can copy it, all right? So this is like the folder address for where the data is. This is the data I wanna open right now, noshows.dta. So, paste that and then I need to do a backslash and no shows dot DTA and make sure you write it exactly the way it is in your folder. If, if there's a space, you should write a space capitalize. You need to write it capitalized exactly the same. All right, then I write clear again. This just clears out to make sure that there's no um, data um, already um, uploaded. And if there is, it goes in, it clears out that data and then it imports this data. Okay, once you're ready to run this, um, you know, wh what you've written in your do file, you can just press the execute button and it will execute everything that's in your file. Um, if you wanted to run just one line, you could just highlight that one line and then press the execute button. All right, or if you wanted to um, not use your point and click, you can highlight one line and then press control D. Okay, so that's how you execute things that are written in your do file. All right, so once I have done that, I can go and look at my results over here. And we can see I've uploaded everything. Um, I can look at my data by pressing data editor, um, this browse option. I would highly recommend never edit your data directly, so you shouldn't be opening the editor. You can edit your data through code, um, and that's better, so that way you can see what it is that you've done. Um, so, but browse, you can see the data like this, okay? Uh, if you're interested in learning more about this data, I'll include a description um, with more information about the data in the, um, the description of this video, okay? 
So uh, suppose you don't have a .dta file because a lot of times when you get uh, data from the internet, it's .csv instead. So how do I import that? Let me show you that really quick. Import um, .csv file. Okay, so instead it's done a little bit differently. Instead of using use, it uses import. And then, like I said, Excel or um, uh, Stata tries to help you out by giving you some suggestions. There's import delimited. That's what we want for a .csv file. And then um, again, same uh, way I need to copy my address, copy address, put it in quotes, and then backslash, and then do whatever the name is. I'm going to copy this one since it's so long. Okay. And then do comma clear, run just this, control D. Okay. And we can see my data has been imported. So it's good to go. Now there is a, um, a problem with the data directly from the website, the way um, it's been imported. This, uh, th this date is being imported as a string and it needs to be a date, which is like, a, it's just a different format than, than what it has. So uh, I will include in the description of this video some um, extra code that if you're interested in knowing how to transform um, this uh, this date, which includes like a T, which is time, it, it can transform this string into into a date format. Okay, so you can check that out in the description of this video if you're interested.